Hello, I want to welcome you here to Lot 7 on Caribou Road in Pasadum Keg, Maine. My name is Lena Fisk. I'm an associate broker with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine, and I want to show you around this nice, lovely cottage today. Let's take a look. I'm standing here on the upper part of the property. There is two driveways that come into this area, lot six and lot seven. And there is a one car barn. We'll take a look inside. It does have a sliding door that you can slide shut. Fairly easy. I'm inside the one car barn and I want to point out it is approximately 20 by 16. It is concrete foundation and it is wired for generator hookup. Uh, you just have to start your generator and you would have plenty of electricity. This could can be converted to, to a bunkhouse to give you extra sleeping space. There is a drilled well on this property plus a dug well that's down over the hill. The owners don't use the dug well, they use primary the drilled well, and we'll go over and I'll show you where the septic system is. The septic is on this side of the property between the cottage and the privy and generator shed. The tank is here, the leach field's here. Mostly the owners use it for gray water, they don't put any solids into it. They do use the privy, and it's nice and clean. I've already checked it out, no spiders. On this side of the building, uh, this is an eight by 16 building with the privy and the generator shed. This generator shed is all wired. The wire goes underground, so nothing overhead. And it is ventilated. So if you wanted to cut off the noise from the generator or help at least damper it, you can shut this and it would be nice and quiet and you wouldn't have to worry about fumes building up in here uh, due to the ventilation. We're gonna go look at the foundation. There is about a four foot poured concrete foundation that's about 500 square feet. So let's go take a look at that and then walk inside. Now that you have had a chance to see around the property and you've had a chance to look at the buildings, let's take a look on the inside of this cottage. I've been really excited about showing the inside of this cottage. The craftsmanship in here is just lovely. This is something that you would read in a book in the woods. It's so beautiful. Let's take a look at the kitchen. It does have a gas stove, gas refrigerator. The lights in here are gas, or you can have generator hookup, or you can have solar power. Let's take a look around the rest of the place. The cottage does have heat. It is a propane heater, and it could be easily switched out to a pellet stove if you want to. The owners don't stay here during the winter, so they haven't really used this, but definitely the cottage can be used year round if that's something that you would like to do. 
As you can see, the uh, lights work really great in here. We did discover the battery pack that you just plug into and flip a switch and voila, electricity. We do have over here a dining room area and over here is a living room area. The furnishings that you see do come with the cottage, so it would make it very simple for you to just come, open the door, come right in. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. This bedroom is 10 by 10. It does have a full-size bed. This bed does come with it. Uh, the bedding comes with it. Um, the artwork on the wall comes with it. And it does have an open ceiling. So plenty of space, or you can enclose it in and possibly make another sleeping area above this room. It does have a three-quarter bath with a shower stall, toilet and sink. The, again, the owners don't really use this, uh, and when they do, they mainly use it for the shower and the gray water goes into the tank in the leach field. There is an enclosed 8x15 porch that's on piers, and on the porch it does have a cabinet that has the gas hot water tank, so let's take a look at that. This property does have three lots. Lot eight over here is on one deed. Lot six and seven are on a separate deed. The great deal with this property is it's three lots, two deeds, one price. I know some of you like to hear about distances to local water. If you go south of southeast of here, about three miles is a boat landing that will take you to the Penobscot River and it has great bass fishing. So if you're a fisherman, sports fisherman, great river to go fishing in. And if you go northeast up the road about three miles, you'll land on the boat landing for a cold stream pond and you have great fishing there also, or you can just enjoy the water for the day. The great part about this property is, is you're not paying the high price for waterfront. You have the seclusion and the solitude of being in a cottage in the woods, but quick access to the main road. I wanna thank you for spending some time with me today. And one thing I forgot to tell you about is the price. It is 112,000. And if I have missed any details, there'll be information up beside me with all the extra information. And if you can, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We really appreciate your comments. Have a nice day.